चैतन्यमयी सत्यमयी परमी to be a true doer of divine works. Your first aim must be to be totally free from all desire and self-regarding ego. All your life must be an offering and a sacrifice to the Supreme. Your only object in action shall be to serve, to receive, to fulfill, to become a manifesting instrument of the Divine Shakti in her way. You must grow in the Divine Consciousness till there is no difference between your will and hers. No motive except her impulsion in you. No action that is not her conscious action in you and through you until you are capable of this complete dynamic identification you have to regard yourself as a soul and body created for her service one who does all for her sake even if the idea of the separate worker is strong in you and you feel that it is you who do the act, yet it must be done for her. All stress of egoistic choice, all hankering after personal profit, all stipulation of self-regarding desire must be extirpated from the nature. There must be no demand for fruit and no seeking for reward. The only fruit for you is the pleasure of the Divine Mother and the fulfillment of her work, your only reward, a constant progression in divine consciousness and calm and strength and bliss, the joy of service and the joy of inner growth 
true work. Is this sufficient recompense of the selfless worker? But a time will come when you feel more and more that you are the instrument and not the worker. For first, by the force of your devotion, your contact with the Divine Mother will become so intimate that at all times you will have only to concentrate and to put everything into her hands to have her present guidance, her direct command or impulse, the sure indication of the thing to be done and the way to do it and the result. And afterwards, you will realize that the Divine Shakti not only inspires and guides, but initiates and carries out your works. All your movements are originated by her. All your powers are hers. Mind, life and body are conscious and joyful instruments of her action, means for her play, molds for her manifestation in the physical universe. There can be no more happy condition than this union and dependence. For this step carries you back beyond the borderline from the life of stress and suffering in the ignorance into the truth of your spiritual being, into its deep peace and its intense surrender.